Hey, what is up everybody? Thank you so much for watching this video. Today in this video I'm going to teach you how you can mirror your iPhone with iOS 12 to your TV. Now I know there are tons of people who had no idea. Now if I'm being completely frank, the new with the new release of iPhone, a new release of iPhones, uh, we got new iOS 12 too. I know it's not, not it's nothing major, but with a new iOS update, there are tons of things that are changed. So make sure your iPhone is updated to iOS 12.0.1 because it actually fixes the uh, charge gate. In case if you had the charge gate issue in the in the first place. Now, if you if you're thinking about what exactly is charge gate, basically. It, if your if your phone is uh, in sleep mode or anything, and if you charge, if you like, if you like plug it in charge, it won't charge unless you wake it up. So yeah, that's charge gate. And also, it's uh, was it it was a problem in iOS 12. Even though right now I'm using iPhone 10, it was originally released a year before the new iPhones. So it it actually got issues with the new iOS 12. I had the charge gate too. So once you update your iPhone to 12.0.1 it should be able to fix the charge gate issue in the first place. Now one thing to remember that when you when you like uh, swipe down the control panel you should be able to see the screen mirroring settings. Now if you don't know where to get the screen mirroring settings, I mean it should be there by default but if not there you can go into the control panel settings and just uh, drop the screen mirroring settings in there by uh, removing anything else you know. I, I, but I'm pretty sure it should be there by default. Once you get there just that's a pretty simple that's all you need to do on your iPhone. But once you once you once you once you think that everything is done on your iPhone, it's time to get to the laptop. All right, guys, I'm using a, a Sony Wio. It's uh, it's not it's nothing new. It's a Core i7 system. It actually has nothing to do with the uh, laptop or anything. But if you don't have a laptop, it, I mean, yeah, well, you can work with that too. But if you don't have a laptop, it sh it, it will be really hard. Now on your laptop, download a tool called A Power Mirror iPhone Recorder. I mean, I will be providing all the links in the description box below. You should download it. It's free, and it's really useful when you have uh, when you have like iPhone 10 or any iPhone with curved display, like the new iPhone X, uh, new iPhone X Max, and this stuff. So once you download the tool, it's really free and it's friendly. So uh, just go ahead and download the tool. It actually supports both the systems. Like uh, it actually supports iOS and it uh, also supports Android. So if you have like a spare Android phone, it should work with that too. Once you download the tool, it's, it will take about a second or so. I, I, I already have done that, so I'm not, not gonna do that again. So once you download the tool, just open it up and also just make sure you have internet connection in the background on your laptop and on your phone. Uh, if you don't have like if you don't have internet connection you can always open a hotspot from your uh, iPhone if you if that's if that's uh, if that's a thing I mean yeah it is a thing but you, if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection at home you should you should probably do that because uh, that's gonna help you a lot so once you once you make a hotspot from from your phone just make sure your your TV is connected to this I mean not your TV I'm sorry your laptop is connected to the same Wi-Fi network I mean the uh, the Wi-Fi network the iPhone is connected to so yeah once you do that just open up software it will take a few seconds depending on how fast your computer is mine is really slow yeah that explains the time it's taking so once you once you open the software it will show you there are two tabs like two multiple tabs uh, I mean it's one is for Android and other is for uh, iOS so if you are using Android, you should stick to Android. But this not this is not the video for Android. So I have I will be making tons of more videos about Android and uh, you know. So once you once you once once the tool is up and running, you had, you don't have, you really don't have to do anything. You don't have to sign up or anything. You just click to iOS and that's it. I mean that would automatically uh, set the tool to uh, respond to iOS devices. Because that's what that's what we're gonna do. So on your iPhone, uh, this is my iPhone 10. All right. So once you unlock the device, just um, oh, sorry. Okay. Once you unlock the device, just go to the uh, control panel, the uh, control panel that we uh, that I showed you before. Swipe down the control panel and just click on the screen mirroring. Right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 
All right, before before you do that, just make sure your iPhone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your laptop is connected to. That's really important because uh, it's the it's the most important part. If you if your iPhone is not connected to your laptop with uh, any connection at all, it won't work. Yeah. All right. Once you once you once you make sure that your iPhone is connected to the same laptop, just click on screen mirroring, and it will show you there are there is an Apple TV in the background. Now there aren't many there aren't many tools that actually that can actually do that because we are literally telling iPhone that there is an Apple TV behind us, but it's not true because we got a laptop in the background. So uh, yeah, that's it. Once you click on it, it will it will uh, screen mirror your iPhone to your uh, laptop. And also, just make sure to be careful with the uh, angles of your iPhone. See, it's almost the same, and, and actually, it is the same with the curves and, and display, something like that. Because there are tons of tools who don't really support that. I mean, yeah, sure, you can do that with the other other softwares, but not like this. It, it, it's really, really cool. I mean, it actually shows that, that you have iPhone 10 instead of sh like faking it or anything. It will show you that there is an iPhone 10 with a curved display, and I mean, you the curved edges and stuff. All right, so, all right, you got a pro tip here. If you go to the settings and go to the software update, update, and just make sure to your iPhone is updated to 12.0.1 because, uh, yeah, I kind of figured out that if you if you're having issues like charge gate or something, and if you don't know what charge gate is, it basically means if if you if your iPhone is on sleep mode, it won't charge. I mean, if you plug it in, it won't charge unless you wake it up. So yeah, update to new iOS 12.0.1. It should should be able to fix it oh yeah by the way uh, check the response time and if you are having issues with if you if you're if you're lagging or something you know just make sure you restarted the computer or you know you just restarted the uh, tool and that's it all right so the next step is for us us to go to the laptop settings and uh, be careful this is the windows 10 i'm using right now it's the updated version of Windows 10. So go to settings and go to the device settings. It should be right in the uh, in the middle. I mean, it's not really uh, hard to find devices. So once you're in the device, don't do anything else. It should be able to show you there are there are connected devices right. So if you have like connected devices, like right right here, I have like Sony Bravia. That that's my other LED TV. It's not a smart TV like uh, like my Samsung. I mean, not my Samsung is not a smart TV either. So that is, that should be good. So on your TV, just make sure that you have like a like your TV is connected to Wi-Fi. And if you have like a screen mirroring settings somewhere, just open it up. And if you don't have, just leave it be. And click on Aid Devices. So when you when you click on Aid Devices, it will it will show you there are there are there are uh, devices running in the background like for for example my TV and now in this case I have Bravia but if you if you if you can't see your device I have tons of more videos about this and be I'll be sure to make uh, I mean no I will be sure to put a link in the description box below where I have successfully connected my laptop to my uh, Samsung TV wirelessly so you should be able to you should be able to do it it's really simple now, just click on it devices, and it will sh it will search for a few seconds, and will show you there are multiple devices, including anything that connected to Bluetooth. So uh, once your computer like this is com connected to your TV, right now this is my TV, and you can see the smart hub of Samsung. You can get get into the network and stuff. Just make sure you connect your uh, your TV is uh, t uh, your TV is connected to your laptop. With anything, it can be a can be a wired connection, it can be a wireless connection. So yeah, once you once you connect your TV to your laptop with either HDMI cable or wirelessly, it's up to you. But I would suggest you should do it wirelessly, as the title suggests. So once you once you once your laptop is connected to your TV, just open up the tool that I uh, that we did before on our laptop. It's really simple. After that, once you open up the tool, take out your iPhone. Swipe down the control panel and click the screen mirroring feature right there. And I bet be sure that your iPhone is connected to your laptop, like like in the Wi-Fi scene. You don't have to connect your TV to the same Wi-Fi network in 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 in, in, in order. If you are trying to connect your TV to your laptop using the HDMI cable, you, if you are using a cable, you don't need to connect your TV to any network really. But if you are not, if you're not using cables, you should. You should be able to connect your TV to the. I mean, you sh must connect your TV to the same network as your laptop is. Also, TV TV has really nothing to do with the uh, nothing to do with the anything uh, network-wise. You know what I'm saying? 
So once you get the uh, once you get this screen burning, it's really simple. Now there are tons of people who might have issues, might have problems. So why would you do that? Why would you want to do something so uh, so hard to do this? Well, it's pretty simple. Like if you want to, if you have tons of people in a room and you want to show them that, uh, yeah, well, I I have something to show you, something I have something cool to show you all, and I can't just show it to you on my iPhone, you know. So uh, you try to connect your iPhone to your TV or something, and you know, just that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you if you have any questions or any queries, please leave in the comment section below. Um, and uh, yeah, all the links will be in the description box below. Like this video, comment, and please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out. Push me down to the ground, it goes away.